The overall goal of this procedure is to determine the antiviral effect of test compounds against specific steps of early viral entry. This is accomplished by first seeding the host cells for the viral infection. The second step is to perform the viral infection and the test compound treatments at different times and temperatures. Next, the drug-treated inoculums are washed away and the cells are overlaid with basal medium. The final step is to incubate the cells. Ultimately, viral infectivity is analyzed to determine the influence of the test compounds on the early viral entry steps of the viral infection. For example, a luminometer is used to assess the luciferase activity in the cell supernatant from infection by a reporter virus. The main advantage of this technique is that it can allow a more mechanism-based approach in identifying antiviral agents, particularly those targeting viral entry. To begin, first prepare stock solutions of the test compounds tribulogic acid, or CHLA, and punicollagen, or PUG, in DMSO. Dissolve heparin for a positive control in sterile double distilled water. To prepare host cells for the assay, culture human hepatocarcinoma HUH 7.5 cells overnight in fresh DMEM supplemented with FBS and antibiotics. Remember to follow Biosafety Level 2 procedures throughout the experiment. To test the cytotoxicity of the test compounds, treat the cells with increasing concentrations of CHLA or PUG from 0 to 500 micromolar diluted in basal medium, or 1% DMSO as a negative control, and then incubate the cells for 72 hours at 37 degrees Celsius in a cell culture incubator. Remove the medium.